Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we worked on the design for our Android app. And in this video, we'll start adding some, some blocks for our application. So guys, let's get started. So guys, the first thing I'm going to do is to add a Bluetooth element. So click on connectivity and drag this Bluetooth client to the screen and then click on blocks now click on the list picker we named bluetooth and then drag this block when bluetooth before picking this one drag this to the stage click there again and then select this one set bluetooth elements drag inside so now click bluetooth client and then select this one Bluetooth client addresses and names so now we are going to create a new variable come here on variable click on variable and then initialize a global variable so I'm going to name it and then go on logic I'm going to initialize this variable as false so now go on Bluetooth the list picker Okay, the list picker and then drag this one when Bluetooth after picking. Now go on control, drag this one if then, and I'm going to make some changes. Click here and then drag this one inside. So now I have to say if this variable is equal to false, then it should do something. Go on logic and then click this one drag this one i mean okay drag this one here go on variable drag this one get so we are going to get that variable we just created drag inside and then select the variable okay so if this variable is equal to false i'm going to select this false if this variable is equal to false, then it should do something. So go on Bluetooth, the list picker, and then drag this one, Bluetooth selection. So if this variable is equal to false, then it should set, we have to be able to select a Bluetooth device. Go on Bluetooth client and then drag this one call Bluetooth client connect address okay connect address now go on the list picker again and then select this one Bluetooth this Bluetooth okay Bluetooth selection okay so it's going to allow us to click and select a Bluetooth element or a Bluetooth device click on this one the label BT mode and then we have we want now we want to change the text because the text is as disconnected so go on text and then drag it here let's uh, say when a Bluetooth device is, con is selected then it should write connected and then let's change the color go there click and then set bt mode text color to let's change the color i'm going to choose uh, a green yeah i'm going to change the color to green so now we say if the variable is equal to false it should allow us to, to select the device the bluetooth device and then it should change the text and then change the color now we have to do okay copy this one okay and then change it to true okay change it to true so we have to say that we have after uh, setting the the word the variable as false we have to reset the same variable as true so okay now we have if or else if the variable is is true or is equal to true it should do another thing 
So what we are going to say is that it should change the, the text or say we are going to change the text to disconnected. Disconnected. And then let's change the color. Select text color. Set BT mode text color. And then drag inside. Change the color to red. Okay, and then let's set the variable as false. Okay, so uh, now what we are going to do is uh, to click on the first button that we named lamp on and click when the lamp on is clicked it should do something so go on control and click this one this control if then click on bluetooth client select this when the button is clicked if bluetooth client is uh, is connected so select this one bluetooth client is connected then it should send a value so go on bluetooth client select this one Blue call bluetooth client send text and then we're going to send a text so it's going to set this character this text this value so we're going to do the same with the second button so click on the second button and then lamp off okay when the lamp off is clicked and then then i'm going i'm going just to copy all this structure all this block and then change the value okay now we finished adding all the the blocks what we have to do is to download to save our to save our project and then download our application our android app and then install it in our phone so if you didn't get anything if you find some difficulties while adding some blocks post the video and then copy all the things that i did so go on projects and then save it go on, on build and then this one save the application to my computer save it let's save it to the computer so it's going to download so guys after downloading what we are going to do is to install the the android app in our phone to see if we can be able to control to connect the bluetooth device and control our relay using the same uh, android app well i already copied the application uh, in my phone now what i'm going to do i'm going to locate it where i copied the same the same android app and then install it so i'm going to click so open it and then click in install so after installing I'm going to open it to try the connection well guys here we have our app installed but it seems to have this small mistake however we can still fix it yeah so the first thing I'm going to do is to is to try the connections you can see that the Bluetooth module is disconnected and is trying to find a connection. So I'm going to click on Bluetooth so that I can connect the device. Okay, you click here HC05 and then wait until it connects. Okay, it's connected. As you can see now, the text has changed and the Bluetooth 
module is connected to our phone so now I'm going to try to fix this this mistake and see if I can add a, a, a an icon for our Android application. So guys, to correct this mistake is very simple. Go on user interface and then drag the label here. Remove the text, remove the text and change the height to 50. Click OK. OK, now I'm going to add an icon. Click on screen, go on icon, click upload file and then go on choose file select the the file you want the image you want I'm going just to select this one and click open okay okay now the icon is added okay guys now let's see the final result well, before testing everything, we first have to make some changes on the code. I'm going to add a few lines of code to control the Arduino board using the app. This way we can control our lamp independently. Now I'm going to connect the lamp to the relay so that I can be able to test all the project very well and then after connecting the lamp to the relay I'm going to install the Android app because we just made some corrections and then after it see how it's working so guys as you can see the Bluetooth device is already connected and if I press on the lamp is switched on if I press off, the lamp is switched off. So as you can see, the till now the project is work is working perfectly, is working very well. So in the next video, what I'll be doing, I will start writing the code in Python so that we can start making our personal assistant. And this way we can control our Arduino board by voice command. Okay guys, this is all for today, see you next time.